Are you ready to learn English with the most famous family on television? Good one, Dad. Okay, kids, prepare to be dazzled. Marge, turn on the juice. What do you think, kids? Nice try, Dad. Ugh. Just hold your horses, son. Hey, hey, Simpson. What is it, Flanders? Oh, uh, do you think this looks okay? Oh, you need a... It's too bright. Uh, you're a What a big show off. That's right. In today's special Christmas lesson, you will learn English with a clip from the very first episode of The Simpsons. In the clip we're going to watch today, Marge is reviewing Bart and Lisa's Christmas list. And do you want to understand fast-speaking natives without getting lost? Without missing the jokes? And how about even without subtitles? Well, you are in the right place because we will help you to do it. Just hit that subscribe button and the bell below so that you don't miss any new lessons. All right, children, let me have those letters. I'll send them to Santa's workshop at the North Pole. Oh, please, there's only one fat guy that brings us presents and his name ain't Santa. Mm -hmm. a, a pony? Oh, Lisa, you've asked for that for the last three years, and I keep telling you Santa can't fit a pony into a sleigh. Can't you take a hint? But I really want a pony, and I've been really, really good this year. Oh, dear. Maybe Bart is a little more realistic. A tattoo? A what? Yeah, they're cool and they last the rest of your life. You will not be getting a tattoo for Christmas. Yeah, if you want one, you'll have to pay for it out of your own allowance. All right! Homer! I'll send them to Santa's workshop at the North Pole. Santa, or Santa Claus, is the imaginary old man with long white hair, a beard, and a red coat, who is believed by children to bring them presents for Christmas. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane! There's only one fat guy that brings us presents, and his name ain't Santa. Ain't is a slang term used for negative sentences. It usually replaces am not, are not, and is not, or have not, has not. Sorry, Homer. While you were daydreaming, we ate all the donuts. Well, there were a few left, but we chucked them at an old man for kicks. <laughs> Jim Hunters, I ain't dead yet! I keep telling you, Santa can't fit a pony into a sleigh. A sleigh is a vehicle used for traveling over snow and ice that is pulled by animals. In Christmas tradition, Santa Claus carries gifts on his reindeer-pulled sleigh. Can't you take a hint? To take a hint is an expression that means to understand something that is communicated indirectly. Hey, <laughs> another visitor? Isn't life funny and safe? Can't you jerks take a hint? You will not be getting a tattoo for Christmas. Yeah. Notice that this phrase is said with elements of connected speech in it. The T for not is dropped and the A is pronounced as a schwa sound, uh. Also, the T in Christmas is not pronounced, so we hear Christmas. You will not be getting a tattoo for Christmas. Yeah. And do you want to understand natives even when we cut our words and speak really fast like this? And how about when we tell jokes or use advanced vocabulary that you weren't taught in school? Well, we'll help you to understand all of this and speak English more confidently and naturally with our free three-part masterclass. You can sign up right now by clicking up here or down in the description below. Yeah, if you want one, you'll have to pay for it out of your own allowance. We call allowance the money that parents sometimes give to their children on a weekly or monthly basis, often in exchange for chores or work around the house. Now pull over! First raise my allowance. You Get a load of that quote unquote Santa. I can't believe those kids are falling for it. Hey, Millhouse, I dare you to sit on his lap. Oh, yeah? Well, I dare you to yank his beard off. Ah, touche. I hope you feel better, Santa. Oh, I will when Mrs. Claus's sisters get out of town. 
Thanks for listening, kid. <coughs> hey, Santa, what's shaking, man? What's your name, Bart? Nur? Uh, little partner? Well, I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? I'm Charlie Old Saint Nick. Oh, yeah? We'll just see about that. Oh! Homer. I want a word with you in Santa's workshop, little boy. Get a load of that quote unquote Santa. To get a load of is a slang term used to tell a person to pay attention to someone or something that is interesting, surprising, or attractive in any way. Get a load of those freaks. Oh. This punctuation mark is called a quotation mark. We use this to quote something that another person has said, usually someone famous. For example, repetition is the mother of skill is a quote by Tony Robbins. However, in this example, Milhouse says that quote unquote Santa to say that Homer doesn't look like a believable Santa. If we call someone a quote unquote doctor, for example, we believe that person is not a real doctor. If we say that a movie is quote unquote realistic, we don't really believe that. This is a sarcastic comment. Arthur will find some defect in the code. Then he'll copy that defect and spread it all over the game till everything becomes quote unquote boring. Just like you want it. Have you ever seen someone do this? This gesture is used to the same end as saying quote unquote. I can't believe those kids are falling for it. If you fall for it, someone tricks you into believing something that is not true. In the clip, Lewis is shocked at how Homer, who is not a very good Santa, is making the other kids believe that he is the real Santa Claus. Uh, what say you leave the cookies and I pay you double next year? Sir, I didn't get this skepticism merit badge falling for promises like that. Hey, Milhouse, I dare you to sit on his lap. Lap means the top part of someone's legs when they are sitting down. For example, small children usually sit on their mother's lap. In the weeks leading up to Christmas in the USA and the UK, you can find Santa Claus in public places like shopping malls. Children can go, sit on his lap, tell him what they want for Christmas, and get their picture taken with him. Christmas is about one thing, being with family. Sophie, come sit on daddy's lap. Also, in case you've never made this connection, that's why we call this a laptop computer, because we can use it on the top of our lap. Well, I dare you to yank his beard off. To yank something off means to remove something with a strong, forceful motion. In this clip, Milhouse is challenging Bart to remove Santa's fake beard in that way. Well, yank my beard. This be a surprise? Oh, I will when Mrs. Claus's sisters get out of town. This is an interesting phrase for pronunciation because the letter S comes up four times in a row. We have the S for Mrs., which is pronounced Mrs. Then we have the S for Claus, which is also pronounced as a Z sound, Claus. And finally, we have the S for Sisters. Now the first S is pronounced with a S sound, while the final S is pronounced with a Z sound. So when we put them all together, we have Mrs. Claus's Sisters. Also notice that Homer says, get out of town, instead of get out of town. We can hear the T in the word get being pronounced as a flap T, which then connects to the vowel sound in the word out. So let's practice saying this whole phrase. Oh, I will when Mrs. Claus's sisters get out of town. Hey Santa, what's shaking, man? What's shaking is a slang term for what's happening or what's up. It's a very informal way to ask, how are things? Hey, Danny, what's shaking? What's your name, Bart? Nur? Uh, little partner? This question is quite funny because Homer doesn't want Bart to see that his dad is working as Santa. Homer accidentally says Bart, but then he corrects it right after by adding a Nur, which then he makes it out to be little partner. Little partner is a friendly way to refer to a child. What's your name, Bart? Nur? Uh, little partner? Well, I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? As you've probably noticed, Bart is not a very polite kid. He uses a lot of slang when he speaks. The question, who the hell are you, is a very informal and disrespectful way to ask, who are you? In the clip, by asking, who the hell are you, Bart is being disrespectful to Santa. Who the hell are you? The wisest, wettest man you'll ever meet. I'm Jolly Old Saint Nick. Jolly means happy. However, it is not very common, except for at Christmas time. We usually describe Santa Claus as jolly, or we might wish someone a jolly Christmas. Saint Nick is short for Saint Nicholas, another name for Santa Claus. 
Finally, we use old as an endearing term, usually for someone older that we have a close relationship with. For example, you might call your father your old man with a possessive. I just want you to know that I love you, Dad. You do? <laughs> oh, son, I love you too. Hey, how about a hug? Dad, Johnny boy, Papa, Junior. My old man. Well, I gotta go. Hey, whether you love Christmas as much as I do, or you do not even celebrate yourself, it is a huge part of English speaking culture. So if you want to be culturally informed, then check out this lesson where Andrea and I discuss Christmas cultural differences between the USA and the UK. Let's watch a clip from that. So usually people tend to put their Christmas tree up from the 1st of December. Mm -hmm. It kind of starts the Christmas period. And growing up, it was a tradition for us to have a drive into central London to see the Christmas lights. So usually around the end of November, mm -hmm. they will turn on the Christmas lights. And pre-COVID, this was a big deal yeah. where lots of people went into the West End of London mm -hmm. and they would see some famous celebrity would come to turn on the Christmas lights. All right, children, let me have those letters. I'll send them to Santa's workshop at the North Pole. Oh, please, there's only one fat guy that brings us presents, and his name ain't Santa. Mm, a, a pony? No, oh, Lisa, you've asked for that for the last three years, and I keep telling you Santa can't fit a pony into his sleigh. Can't you take a hint? To take a hint means to understand something that is communicated indirectly, understand something that is communicated directly, not understand something. But I really want a pony and I've been really, really good this year. Oh dear, maybe Bart is a little more realistic. A tattoo? A what? Yeah, they're cool and they last the rest of your life. You will not be getting a tattoo for Christmas. Yeah, if you want one, you'll have to pay for it out of your own allowance. All right. Homer. Get a load of that quote unquote Santa. I can't believe those kids are falling for it. In this context, falling for it means the kids don't believe Homer is Santa Claus. The kids believe Homer is Santa Claus, even though they shouldn't. The kids believe in Santa Claus. Hey, Milhouse, I dare you to sit on his lap. Oh, yeah? Well, I dare you to yank his beard off. Ah, touche. I hope you feel better, Santa. Oh, I will when Mrs. Claus's sisters get out of town. Thanks for listening, kid. <coughs> hey, Santa, what's shaking, man? What is another informal way to say what's shaking? How do you do? How have you been? What's up? What's your name, partner? Uh, little partner? Well, I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? I'm jolly old Saint Nick. Oh, yeah? We'll just see about that. So, oh! Homer. I want a word with you in Santa's workshop, little boy. So another tradition that we have in the UK that always kicks off in December, and there's usually one particular weekend where everyone is doing this, mm -hmm. is your office Christmas party. Yeah, I think in the US it's the same thing. It's usually maybe that weekend right before Christmas or something, right before people will go on their holidays, on their time off for the winter. At least like the kids do this. 